Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to your Energy Booster Podcast where we journey together to become the best version of ourselves so we can live according to our God-given purpose. This is, once again, Janice Padilla, your host and your fellow traveler on this path of discovery. In today's episode, Navigating the Wilderness, we draw inspiration from the Israelites' journey through the wilderness as recounted in the book of Exodus. I so love this story, you all. Um, And if you have Netflix, last week, I think, or two weeks ago, I've been replaying it you know watching it over and over again in netflix um yeah go ahead if you have netflix and check the series called moses it's really a good series or show um so you can see how the israelites was able to escape or manage to get out of the slavery from Pharaoh or from Egypt to their journey towards the promised land. That journey symbolizes not only physical, but also spiritual and emotional passage through the trials and tribulations that shape us all. You see, The wilderness can be a taunting place, vast, unknown, and filled with challenges. We could still be in the wilderness at this moment, you know, as we travel through or going to our promised land. The wilderness can be a place where we are being tested or... Our faith is being tested on how, yeah, how truly we believe that God is powerful. And you see in the wilderness, while they are on that journey, God had been showing them Tremendous amounts of blessings. They were hungry. They were complaining that they were hungry. God provided them the manna. They were thirsty. God broke that stone or rock, that huge rock, and the water flows. They had a lot of challenges And God delivered them and provided for them. And yet, through it all, they were still confused. And they still worshipped different gods. And they even built that golden calf to worship it. You see, I don't know where you are in your life right now. But I know you have answered prayers. You have this desire in your heart that you've been praying for and God will show you mercy and grant that prayer in front of your eyes. You see that God is working and yet you easily or we easily forget about this. And, you know, sometimes we forget about God and we worship the blessing. We worship the gift. We worship the providence and make it our idols. And so God will again test us. And we go back to where we were and we struggle. And God will continue to test us to test us. And over and over again, if we don't pass the test, we go back to where we used to be. And only when we pass the test, then we move forward. That is, that is exactly the wilderness. 
the wilderness could be that daunting, could be full of challenges and trials and tests and testings. Yet, it is also a place of profound growth and, res and reliance and faith. If we only and only take time to pause and reflect and acknowledge God's guidance and his providence and his mercy and his love, his unconditional love. The Israelites' journey through the wilderness is a powerful metaphor of our own personal transformations. It reminds us that though the path may be difficult, it is rich with the opportunity for growth and deepened faith. In our lives, the wilderness spirits can take many forms, a challenging phase in our careers, a difficult personal relationship, or a deep existential struggle. There are the times when our faith is tested and our true strength is forged. How do we find our way through the wilderness? How do we maintain our faith when the path ahead isn't clear? You all, this is all, this is very relevant to every one of us. I don't know where you are in your life right now. I don't know where you are in your journey right now. But as long as you hold on to your faith and you hold on to the promises that God has for you, in Jeremiah 29, 11, God says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So regardless of what you are going through right now, or especially if you are going through hard times right now where your faith is being tested, hold on to the promises of God. Keep reading the Bible. Be in alignment with God's purpose for your life. Because sometimes we are just being tested or sometimes we are confused of what really matters. Is it the material things? Is it the earthly definition of success? Or are we pursuing the real definition of abundance, which is the fruit of the Spirit? The key lies in trust and perseverance, trust in the journey and in the guidance that faith provides. Persevere, knowing that each step, each step, no matter how small, is a progression towards the promised land of personal transformation and enlightenment you can never force these things you all you can only do this or this can only be possible personal transformation can only be possible if you surrender to god if you say lord this is hard i can't do it but with you 
Nothing is impossible. And you rest in his loving arms and let the change happen for you through the goodness of our loving Savior. This week, I encourage you to reflect on your own wilderness. Identify the trials you're currently facing or have faced in the past. For me, I tell you, I struggled the most with my relationship. I had a lot of trust issue. I had a lot of insecurities. I was broken. And for many years, I suffered. But when I let go of it, I forgave myself and I surrendered that aspect of my life to Christ. I felt so free. And that, my friend, is a real definition of freedom. Free from hurting, from pains, from worries, from fear, from insecurity, and from all that negative stuff that is draining your energy. And let me ask you with this question, how have all these struggles shaped you? How have you relied on your faith to guide you through? Write these reflections down or share them with a trusted friend or family member. Recognize the strength and growth that have come from these challenges. Because I tell you, if you don't change, if you don't overcome your old self and your old limiting beliefs, then your situation will never change. And I don't want that for you, my friend. I want you to be free. Yes, I do. I do want you to be free. As we conclude today's episode, remember that the wilderness is not a place to fear, but to embrace. It is here, in the challenges and trials, that we find our deepest growth and our true selves. Next time, we will explore the process of renewal, being born again into transformation. And you may look it up and read ahead, John 3, 1 to 21, diving deeper into the transformative power of faith and renewal in our lives. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please share this episode to your loved ones. And don't forget to write me a review or send me a message on what are your thoughts about these episodes today. I am Jeanine, walking with you on this journey of faith, challenge, and transformation. I'm always rooting for your success, your growth, and your deliverance. If you need a friend or someone to talk to about your growth, about your journey, about your challenges, anything under the sun, feel free to book your free 
coaching call at www.geniuspadilla.com. I will write it on my show notes so you can just click on the link and you can follow me through all my social, follow me and support me through all my social media platforms. Thank you. And once again, this is Janice. I love you. And till next time. Bye.